to another video tutorial um, on this tutorial I'll be showing you how to configure VPN okay using SSTP that's a secured communication all right now first of all before we do that we have to um, configure the PPTP okay I'll show you that first and then we we'll configure the SSTP all right now to do this I have a uh, two servers okay DC1 and DC2 DC1 is my domain controller and DC2 will be my VPN server okay my policy server and my certificate server that's where I will configure the SSTP alright so here is DC1 which I've already made uh, my domain controller I believe by now you should know how to make a domain controller and all that alright now its IP address is um, 192.168.0.1 okay so I'll move on to DC2 now okay and log in as the domain administrator so that I can configure everything I want to do administratively okay so let's go there okay guys here I am on my DC2 okay which is part of the domain alright so here I'm going to log in as a domain administrator okay so to do that I will have to go to back okay and then click on other users and log in as a domain administrator as you can see here it says sign in to Contoso which is a domain so I'm just gonna type in here administrator okay now when I type in administrator I say change the DC tool so it simply means I need to do some settings here which is Contoso backslash okay administrator and then type in my password okay for my domain admin not the local DC2 account but for the domain admin account so I'll press enter and that should log me in alright so I'm okay, logged guys here yeah, I'm on the server okay um now there's one thing you should know on the DC2 which we're making our VPN server it needs to have uh, two network cards two network cards so one will be communicating with the computers in the internal network and the second one will be communicating with the outside network alright that is setting or will be taking the what the PCs in from inside the network to the internet alright and the ones on the internet or outside network into our network okay so basically you need two network cards on the system okay so now here so we need to set the IP addressing of this card so before we start configuring the thing so right click on this go for open network and sharing center then you go for change adapter settings now you can see this we have Ethernet and Ethernet 2 this is the one we have already so let me check it properties okay this is settings this is IP address and this is DNS alright so that's for the local network the one that will be connecting us to the internet will be this alright so I have to change its IP address okay so the public one which I've purchased okay for from my ISP so that is up okay 40.40.0.05.5 okay it class and that's it right this is just what I'm gonna put here and go for okay and okay alright guys so after installing that okay for simplicity sake okay we will have to change this one which is the internal rename it okay to the internal so that we know that this is the internal network card right and this one will be the what the external network card so I'll call it external alright when we refresh okay you can see this is the external and this is the internal so after doing that now we, we need to install the necessary roles to configure this VPN okay so do that by going to add rules and features okay and then here just go for next all right role based role based or feature installation select that and select your server here 
go for next and then here once we install the VPN so we would go for remote access take note of that and then here you just go for add features alright so that is adding yes so I'm doing that you just go for next alright and then after going for next let's see if we need anything here okay that is what we just need okay go for next again all right go for next again with configuring just direct access okay before all um, VPN sorry direct on VPN you select, select that all right and then go for next go for next all right and then you also go for next here as well and then you install okay so I'm gonna install that all right when it's done I'll just switch back and continue okay guys our VPN okay is done installing okay and then we also we need to configure it okay by going to open the get it started wizard okay when you click on that it should give you another dialog box okay to surely pop up right now okay it's coming up <coughs> okay, it's already running, so that's why it's even the best. It should pop up in no time. Okay, you probably might not see it. Okay, until you minimize this. All right, here we have it. Okay, so we have what we call direct access deploy um direct access the VPN direct access okay but we want, we just want to install just VPN so click on deploy only VPN okay after clicking that the VPN routing and remote access dialog box opens up okay so I'm just gonna like that and configure what routing and remote access okay so we're just gonna write in Google configure go for nest all right I want to I, I usually go for custom I don't go for VPN custom nest and then select VPN access over here nest and finish now when it says finish when you click on finish it will prompt you to start a service so you start a service okay and then the VPN I'm starting the service all right now for doing this doing this all we need to do here is just go back to the DC2 properties and then here we have um, uh, IP version 4 okay because we need to set some pool of addresses okay that will be addresses that will be used by uh, um, employees or people coming into our network from outside the internet all right so if you have a DHCP, that will be giving them IP address, you can select DHCP. But if you don't have DHCP, you can select this. Go for add. And you add them there. The addresses they'll be using. I want them to start from dot 10. Okay. I think about 11 people will be coming in. So 10 to 20. So 11 people. Okay. So 11 IP address has been set. Okay. And that is that. Now after configuring this, okay, fine, we are done, okay, but we need to set some security levels, okay, on who and who should be able to communicate, okay, or to, to, to sorry, for, we can set securities for who and who will be able to what, come into our network, alright, so we're just going to go to, alright, now this rule, Need to be set with MPS, that network policy and access service. Okay, so we've not installed that rule, so we need to install that rule by minimize. Let's minimize this. Go to server manager. All right, now we can close this. Okay, and then go for add rules and features again to add that rule. Surely we're supposed to add it at first, but I think I forgot to do that, so we need to do it now. Next, okay, and then you look for network policy and as a service okay that is what we need now all right go
goof nest goof nest okay goof nest okay just gonna select just MPS goof nest and install alright so this will start as though when it's done I'll be back okay guys so it's done installing the MPS server so I'm gonna close this okay to access that to config now want to configure the the security okay so firstly what we're trying to do now is okay we have a uh, 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 two users okay namely Vincent and Ben they are create they have a user account and domain controller okay I will show you that just now all right and then we would add them to a group okay called control so remote users all right so that we will add that group okay to be part of the MPS policy server just let's watch it okay so let's take this tutorial now to DC one okay and then show you the users okay now guys on DC one okay we're gonna go to choose all right active directory users and computers okay so it's opening the dialog box okay let's just open there now you can see here we have this user Ben and Vincent okay but once another person these guys will not be communicating using VPN alright so we want to create another user okay right click on users go for new user okay I'm gonna type the VPN okay user that's the that's the name of the of the user VPN user so each logon name will be V user V user okay let's just go like V user uh -huh. Vusa all right now go for next okay and then uh yes uh, type his password here okay make sure it's the same all right make sure you change his password next logon yes next okay since password does not match <clears throat> all right matches finish all right now you can see we have VPN user here now this VPN user want him to be part of the group okay want him to be part of the group that will be used in the network policy settings so we're gonna create another group called new go to new group okay and then name this group Contuso Remote Users. That's the model group. Alright. Look the settings like that. Alright, this is it. Contuso remote users. Double click on this and then go for members and add VPN user to part of the group. VPN check names. Alright, saw it and then go for OK. Apply and OK. Now this guy VPN user is part of that group. So we can further do some settings here by right clicking on the given properties. When you come here, you see here we have dial in. Go for dial in and you see this settings network access permission settings here. Allow deny or control access through an MPS. Alright, because we want to go and configure MPS for only the users to be able to communicate. Okay, we're gonna go for control access through MPS. So we'll leave that to that. Okay, close this now we have our user part of drag group okay so anybody you want to be connect communicating okay using the VPN and coming into your network all right make sure they have a user account and you put them in the right group all right now after putting them in that group let's go to DC2 to configure our network policy server all right guys now we're on DC2 which we we've already installed the NPS rule so to access it to come here and then go to network policy server all right now on this network policy server we're creating our policy settings that we don't want anybody at all to just come into the network we want to create a set of rules for them okay so here we have network policy server okay you go to net you go to policies network policies As you can see here, this one suggests default policy setting, and they are not 
um, the, the asset to deny assets. So I'm just gonna right click on this, make sure I, um, policy should go for new, and name my policy to be my VPN policy. You just call it VPN policy, okay? Policy, and then question is for VPN. All right, so shall I VPN then go for next? Now it's actually specify my condition, so I'll go for add. Now already remember we created user groups, so we'll go for user groups. Condition add the group we want to what grant access. So the name of that group is control so VPN. Let's see check names. Okay, you can see that control so remote users. If you can't find your names here, you can just go to advanced, find now. And you'll see here we have control so remote users. Just look for the group you created. Alright, ah, I gave it two S's, no problem, I'll use it like that. Okay, and then go for OK, and then go for OK. Now you can see that we have controls and remote users. Alright, so next. I want to give this guy's access, okay, this guy access. And then we only have this user called VPN user inside our group. So only in, because it's the only one inside. So you don't want to be able to get access to it. So the network so next and then I will leave it to your um, normal authentication settings next all right here we have ideal timeout I will just select that and go for five minutes why am I doing this because when they are connected they must use the system they shouldn't leave the system there is they use in connecting to our network ideal for almost or for up to five minutes if they do that the connection should be disconnected all right that's why I'm setting this it's kind of good security constraints so next you can leave the rest to next okay finish now you can see that this has been activated okay so close this now we've configured the VPN okay uh, um, we've configured so we've configured our VPN we've configured our MPS and we've also configured everything okay so now our user is, is able okay or can now log on okay from wherever they are outside the network so let's go to windows 8 client now and go to login so see you on my windows 8 client okay guys okay guys here we are on our on our windows 8 client okay so um <coughs> we'll be connecting okay to our network via this windows 8 client now one thing i want you to know is if you are on the main network okay you're in the real environment this person will be communicating okay so we will be connecting to your network okay you make sure that this person is having internet connection already before you start connecting all right I'm using this for practical purposes okay so I want to act okay this PC as if it's on the internet somewhere all right and then if you remember on my VPN VPN server all right I have the external interface which is 40 to 40 to 5 to 5. Alright, so this system's network card, okay, must be at the same range with that public interface, okay, must be on the same range with my external interface, okay. So I'll give it 40.40.5.6. 40 all right just to make sure it's on the same range okay so what i'm trying to do now is just pull the system as if it's on the internet all right and then the gateway i'll put the 40.40.5.5 take note of this this for practical purposes are they being this system is connected to the internet already you don't need to do any of this configuration you just have to start straight away connecting to your vpn okay so i'll go for okay close and close it now after doing that all right we're going to go for right click on our network interface here and there's a network icon and go for open to my sharing center and go for setup a new connection go for VPN next then I'll go for use my internet connection and go for our setup internet connection later Alright, so here I'll type in the IP address of the server, okay, which is my VPN server, and I'm gonna name it Contoso Contoso Office. 
all right so in this case now it's the client or it's the user that's trying to communicate okay the VPN user we created okay and then we'll go for create and now to creating this just as we create it you can see here we have this now before you connect you right click on this and go for view connection properties you come to security and make sure you go for allow these protocols yeah make sure you click on allow these protocols and go for ok alright now let's connect to our server fingers crossed this should work for us the name of our user is Vin user remember VUSA at contoso.com I will create it and its password is okay and all right we having some error which says the connection location cannot be reached for information about this rubbish and see windows up all right let me close that okay and then let's try to pinch to see if sorry cmd pinch <coughs> the server five or five okay now this is what is happening it says it's not able to get to it that's why our connection didn't work okay so let's see our network settings again let our IP settings again to see if we will if we configure the right IP addresses all right you see we didn't configure the IP addresses that's why it didn't work okay so I think we did but we didn't um, apply it <laughs> so let's go for type it in okay so six all right 40 40 five five and then we go for okay and okay all right so that should work now so let's refresh this refresh okay let's try pinion again okay this is not normative don't get a reply it will definitely reply us okay let's try to see if our communication if our connection work would work okay connect me user at contoso.com password we'll type it here it's trying to connect to that network good that's it we are able to connect okay now it's asking us for the old password because when we were creating the venue if you can remember we said it should be able to change this password as an S login all right so we're gonna type the old password okay and type the new new password okay completing connection and boom we have it here it's connected all right so if we would want to know if it's connected we can easily just um, go to run CMD now we are outside okay so if you go for IP config to check our, our IP settings you see here we have 192.168.0.11 as its IP address remember we created a range in the VPN okay in the VPN right now remote access settings okay that the, this range of IP address should be given to what people coming into our network all right or users coming in and this is his own IP address is used to connect to the internet all right so now let's go back to the DC2 where we that's our VPN server to see if we have a current connection on all right guys here we are on our VPN server and about to remote access um, console so here we have remote access client this should be um, one we should have one person here good as you can see we have one person currently connected which is what being user so being user is now connected to our network okay and then being user is currently using PPTP okay channel protocol all right so <coughs> that which is 